So here we have another very quick, easy, simple slice. 90D tiny squares. So we're going to take our rice bubbles. We're going to take our peanut butter. You can use a crunchy peanut butter if you prefer. Our desiccated coconut. And we're going to put these all into a bowl. And we're going to add some vanilla essence. Like this. Then we're going to take our butter, which we have let just melt down at room temperature so it's just soft. And I'm going to take my walnuts that I've crushed up. And I'm going to take my honey. Like this. Eighth of a cup of honey. And then we're just going to add all of these to the bowl. And I'm just going to use a spoon and I'm just going to stir them all up. So I'm just going to roughly stir all of that through with that spoon, get it all combined together. And then I'm going to use my hands and I'm just going to scrunch all those ingredients together like this with my hand. And it just really mixes all of those ingredients together. It's a little bit messy, but it does actually help to combine it all and make it all glue together. So when it looks like this, I just get my Swiss roll tray, but you can just use a flat tray. And then I put the mixture onto it. I just press it down and I'm basically going to form a square. And I want it to be about one centimeter thick. So I'm just going to push it all together and really just push that all together because you want it to set firm and not loose. Just keep on pushing it around and pushing it together like this until you get a square that looks like this. And as you can see, it's about one centimeter in thickness. like that. So now we're going to pop this into the refrigerator for about three hours and let it set off. And then I'm simply going to cut it into squares like this. You can cut it however you like. I just like these little squares. And now we're just going to melt down our chocolate. Now I like to do this very quick and simple in a microwave. I just put it in a microwave proof dish on high and I just take it out every 20 seconds until it's completely melted down and has a nice velvety consistency and looks like this. And then I just put one spoonful on top of each square. Make it quite a nice thick layer and just to move it around the square like that until we've got them all done. And then when I've covered them all and they're all done, I just pop them back into the refrigerator for about half an hour to set off. And I'm just going to plate them up. Look at that. These are absolutely delicious. And they're not overly sweet as well. So I do hope you give it a try. No bake, easy honey squares.